good one. Good. How's it going, people? From Markleyville with a bunch of nets, and uh, figured I'd enlighten these gentlemen. They're all imbibing alcoholic beverages, and they know that's wrong. <laughs> all right. Chapter 7 of the Book of Thielemen. There's a big bolt. Let me take these off. I need them. The prophecy of Nephi, the son of Elaman. God threatens the people of Nephi that he will visit them in his anger to their utter destruction, except they repent of their wickedness. God smiteth the people of, the, of Nephi, so that didn't work. <laughs> Message not received. <laughs> With pestilence, they repent and turn unto him. Samuel, a Lamanite, prophesies to the Nephites. Right on. All right. Now there's a masthead above the chapter, so this is a this is a phase they're going into here. All right. Nephi, rejected by the people from the north, who returns to. Zarahimla, from his garden tower, he prays to God and addresses the multitude. Verse 1. Behold, now it came to pass. Can you see it? Sweet. Sweet as summer itself, but a lot cooler. Ah. Oh, you bastard, you. Wait, I don't <laughs> you want me to drink this out of the neck? I mean, yeah. uh, uh, all right. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. You're a gentleman in the sky. You've probably read this already. <laughs> I don't need these to read. Um, the land of Zarahemla from the land northward. I finally finished the first verse. Two. For he had been forth among the people who were in the land northward and did preach the word of God unto them, and did prophesy many things unto them. 3. And they did reject all his words, insomuch that he could not stay among them. Took his ball and went home, but returned again to the, unto the land of his nativity. 4. And seeing the people in a state of such Wait, in a state of such awful wickedness, all those Gadianton robbers filling the judgment seats, having asserted the power and authority of the land, laying aside the commandments of God, bastards, and not in the least a right before him, it ain't a right, Uh, doing no justice unto the children of men. Five, condemning the righteous because of their righteousness, letting the guilty and the wicked go unpunished because of their money, and moreover, to be held in office at the head of government to rule and to do according to their wills, that they might get gain and glory of the world. That's this one, you know, this stuff. <laughs> Nothing in this world matters! All right. According to their wills, that they might gain and glory of the world. I love editing. Just cut that shit out. Uh, <laughs> and 
moreover, that they might the more easily commit adultery and steal and kill and do according to their own wills. Six. Now, this great iniquity had come upon the Nephites. Shit, is my battery life? Hold on. The, upon the Nephites, in the space of not many years, not many, you just don't know how many. <laughs> Good record keeping, guys. <laughs> and when Nephi saw it, his heart was swollen with sorrow within his breast. And he did exclaim in his agony of his soul, Seven. Oh, that I could have had my days in the days of my father Nephi. Uh, when my father Nephi first came out of the land of Jerusalem. Those days suck too. I read this book. <laughs> that I could have joyed with him in the promised land. <laughs> then were his people easy to be entreated, firm to keep the commandments of God, and slow to be led to do iniquity. And they were quick to hearken unto the words of the Lord, which coincide with what you want. Uh, eight, yea, if my days could have been in those days, then would, a bunch of artwork, pictures and shit, all right, my soul have had joy in the righteousness of my brethren. And he's writing this shit on gold. You know, because I guess, I guess Reformed Egypt was extremely condensed. <laughs> it seems a little padded in English. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Nine. But behold, I am consigned that these are my days. My soul shall be filled with Sorrow because of this wickedness of my brethren. Ten. And behold, now it came to pass. About fucking time. <laughs> Ugh. Man, that's a lot of reading just to get a drink. Where is that? Yep. Never mind. Greedy bastard. <laughs> it came to pass in verse 10 that it was upon a tower which was in the garden of Nephi. They don't have a lot of names to work for them. They keep reusing them or adding ha at the end. <laughs> which was by the highway which led to the chief market, which was in the land of Zarahumla. Therefore, Nephi had bow wait Nephi where the fuck is he? Where Nephi had bowed himself upon the tower which was in his garden. I guess so. <laughs> he has his name on it. Uh, Nephi had bowed himself I'm gonna get through this one <laughs> upon the tower which was in his garden. Which tower was also near to the garden gate, by which led the highway. Eleven. And it came to pass. Uh, it came to pass in verse eleven that there was a was a certain man passing by, and he saw Nephi as he was pouring out his soul unto God upon the tower, and they ran and told the people that they had what they had seen, and the people came together in multitudes that they might know the cause of so so great mourning for the wickedness of the people. Well. And now, then, now when Nephi arose, he beheld a multitude of people who had gathered together. 
13. And it came to pass. Very nice. Help yourself in the blue and white. Uh, it came to pass in verse 13 that he opened his mouth and said unto them, because he ain't a ventriloquist, he has to open his mouth to do it, and you need to write that shit on gold. Does that fucking make any sense? Sure it does. Just ask a Mormon. <laughs> He, and he said unto them, Behold, why have ye gathered yourselves together, that I may tell you of your iniquities? Why are you putting yourself through this? Fourteen. Yea, because I have got upon my tower, his ivory tower, no doubt, that I might pour out my soul under God, because the reception's a lot better up there. <laughs> because of the exceeding sorrow of my heart, which is because of your iniquities. Fifteen. And because of my mourning and lamentation, ye have gathered yourselves together. Much repetition there. And do marvel. Hold on. They've had enough. They're going fishing. Hold on. Hold on. Jonathan coming with you. Hold on. Going with him or not? No. Go ahead, man. Hurry up. Wait. He's all right. Got your license? It's fine. Got your license? All right. Have fun. Fifteen. And because of my mourning and my and lamentation, ye have gathered yourselves together and do marvel, yea, and ye have great need to marvel, yea, ye. He's back to ye. He was at, at you. Now he's back to ye. Uh, <laughs> have gathered yourselves together. And do marvel, yea, and ye have great need to marvel. There I was. <laughs> yea, and ye, ye ought to marvel, because ye are given away that the devil has got so great hold upon your hearts. The ox? Sixteen. Yea, how? Could you have given a ways so to the enticing of him who seeketh to hurl away your souls down to everlasting misery and endless woe? Woe. 17. Oh, repent ye, repent ye. Why will ye die? Turn ye. Fucking this fuse. Uh, sorry. Turn ye. Uh, he said that twice. It wasn't me. Uh, <laughs> oh. Unto the Lord your God, why hath he forsaken you? Obviously it's your fault. <sighs> Eighteen. It is because ye have hardened your hearts, yea, ye will not hearken unto the voice of the good shepherd. Yea, ye have provoked him to anger against you. 19. And behold, instead of gathering you, except ye will repent, behold, he shall scatter you. He's back to you. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of consistency, huh? Uh, we'll scatter you forth that ye shall become meat for dogs and wild beasts. <laughs> There's your alternative. 20. Oh, how could you have forgotten your God in that very day that he has delivered you? How could you do it?
21. But behold, it is to great gain. Sounds good to me. <laughs> to be praised of men. That's not exactly it. Yea, and that ye might get gold and silver, and ye have set your hearts upon the riches and the vain things of this world, this place, terra firma. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> this world. For the which ye do murder, and plunder, and steal, and bear false witness against your neighbor, <laughs> and do many, do all manner of iniquity. 22. And for this cause, woe shall come upon you, except ye shall repent. For if ye will not repent, behold, this great city, and also all those great cities which are round about, which are, are in the land of our possession, shall be taken away, that ye shall have no place in them. For behold, the Lord will not grant unto you strength, as he has hitherto done, to withstand against your enemies. 23. For behold, thus saith the, hang on, the Lord, should have guessed, I will not show unto the wicked of my strength, to no more, to no, wait, to one more than the other, save it be unto those who repent of their sins, and hearken unto my words. Now, therefore, I would that ye should behold, my brethren, that it shall be better for the Lamanites than for you, except ye shall repent. 24. For behold, they are more righteous than you, for they have not sinned against that great knowledge which ye have received. Therefore, the Lord will be merciful unto them, yea, he will lengthen out their days and increase their seed. <laughs> Great. Even when thou shalt be utterly destroyed, except thou shalt repent. Twenty-five. Yea, woe be unto you because of that great abomination. Anybody find that Jack? Yeah. Uh, uh, 25. Yea, woe be unto you because of that great abomination. Thank you. Thank you very much. You are advancing higher literature. I mean that. <laughs> Damn, that'll keep the skids away. Yeah. You stay close to that, I'm going to need yeah, it again. Okay. <laughs> abominations, which I drink the abominations too, thank you. Oh, well, I'll leave that right there. <laughs> <laughs> which has come among you, and ye have united yourselves unto it, yay. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> to that, to that secret band which was established by Daddy Anton. Forty-six. Yay! Woe! Yay! Woe! Yay! Woe! Shall come unto you because of that great pride which ye have suffered to enter into your hearts which has lifted you beyond that which is good because of your exceeding great riches. You know, just lighten the load a little. You'll be righteous again. 27. Yea, 
Woe be unto you because of your wickedness and abominations. The mosquitoes going after me. I've given my blood for you. Pun intended. 28! And except ye repent, ye shall perish, yea. Even your lands shall be taken from you, and ye shall be destroyed from off the face of the earth. Something to look forward to. 29. Behold now, I do not say that things, these things shall be of myself, Got you off the hook, <laughs> because it is not of myself that I know these things, but behold, I know these things are true, because the Lord God has made them known unto me. And that important. Therefore, I testify that they shall be. Anyway, got a mosquito. How about that? <laughs> That's it for Chapter 7. First one in the great outdoors. I've been wanting to do this. So, uh, that was not very much fun, but what the fuck? I did it anyway. It was stupid, but I did it anyway. Peace. Peace. The fuck out. And have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. I doubt it's as nice as this. Mm. Alright, that's it. Bye.